How is it going guys? This is Peter here and you are watching a Necromancer guide. A profession with diversity, that's how I could describe the Necro in short. They can do many cool stuff, have a lot of hexes, can make minion armies, can be great healers, can support party members, they can play like a vampire and steal blood or sacrifice their HP to help allies or hurt enemies. Their unique attribute, Soul Reaping, gives them energy anytime a creature dies, but maximum 3 times every 15 seconds. So if you invest into this attribute, energy won't be a problem. Another necro attribute is called the Death Magic. This has the minion army skills and spells which cause cold damage. Then there is Blood Magic. According to its name, this works with blood. It can steal HP from fools or sacrifice HP to help allies. And for last, we have Curses. This is full of hexes, negative effects on targets. In general, necro's HP is not that high. Energy is around 50. They have low armor and 4 pips of energy regen. When it comes to weapons, most of the time necromancers wield the 40 set. They can benefit much from half skill recharge and costing times. Sometimes a 20% enchantment mode in their weapon can be useful too. Certain necro builds, especially the new anniversary builds, are built around sights and or daggers. But in general necro weapons are the old school staves and wands. Ok, let's see their pros and cons. As I said, with a high sewer reaping, energy won't be a problem for necromancers. This allows use of high energy skills frequently. Many of their skills deal armor ignoring damage, which is definitely a good thing since in hard mode certain fools have high armor. And let's not forget the sacrifice skills too, which are fun and very effective. They can help the whole party be in safety with their minion army, they can slow down attacks, make fools miss their target, they can remove enchantments, have plenty of skills which cause conditions, and finally if you combine necro with ritu skills, they become one of the best healers in the game. On the other hand, their low armor, low HP makes them perfect targets for melees. Also, well time anti coaster hex or dazed condition interrupts hurt them badly. And using sacrifice builds is risky since you either have a strong healer who saves your ass or you will die plenty of times. Necros are strong on their own too, but if you want to get some ideas for a secondary prof, try Mesmer, Monk, Dervish, or Assassin. For example, Mesmer gives them Arcane Echo, which is a great way to copy an elite skill. Then you can try Monk Secondary to have extra protection or smiting skills, or even Assassin to unlock Assassin's Promise or play Dagger Spam. Dervish is only if you want to play the new anniversary build. Alright, time for some tips, guys. I promise this won't be as long as it was at the Monk Guide. So tip number one, always use out soul reaping. Why I'm saying this? Because this is the bread and butter for necros. In PV mobs die very often, meaning with a decent rank of soul reaping your necro will never run out of energy. One example, let's say you have a rank 9 in soul reaping, this equals 27 energy gain every 15 seconds, as long as your party kills something. Next tip, get a 40-40 weapon set. Sadly most great necro skills have high recharge times, but if you have a 40 set, then your chances are great to have the recharge and costing times of your spells. So this can make your necros even more badass. The next few tips are for MM necros. If you are using a minion master build, always pay attention to minions HP. Luckily there is a minions window for this. By default this is a Z or Y key. And if some minions HP is low, cause death snow on them. This way you can deal massive damage or, or consider using Blood of the Master to keep them alive till the next group. I have mentioned conditions earlier, many necro skills cause some negative effect on enemies and those are great, very often used in PvP, but in PvE this is a different story. Some conditions like weakness, daze, deep wound are great here too, some have not much benefit simply because fools die so quickly. Think about poison, bleeding for instance, minus 4 and minus 3 degen. This equals 6 or 8 damage per second, not a big deal. I don't want to talk you out of these guys, but use them if you want to, but in my opinion direct damage is better, unless your build requires to have conditions. Necros are great supporters too, if you have melee characters in your team you can have them with many cool stuff, extra HP gain, extra damage, extra adrenaline gain, or even use skills like Mark of Pain on bold up groups or barbs to take down a boss. But if you don't have teammates who could benefit from those, rather choose another build. Next tip, if you are using sacrifice skills, play carefully, because a badly timed HP loss can result in wipes. Also make sure you have some sort of armor boost or a decent healer who will save your ass, and if you are playing with real players, let the healers know your HP might drop quickly. If you are using skills which do AoE damage, like Spiteful Spirit or Mark of Pain, always target a fool in the middle of a big group, 
Hexing a single mob is not really viable and ends in less damage. The last tip is about necro heroes. Every time I put heroes into my team I have a beep necro. Why? Because they solve energy management for the whole party. Without a beep necro ST and these surge mesmers run out of energy quickly. They also have decent healing for the party and condition removals. Sadly humans can't play beep necro very well, so rather keep this role to your heroes. Ok guys, get ready because necros have many great builds and this part is going to be long. First on my list is the classic Assassin's Promise Caller. Guess I don't have to say much. As a support you move, finish him as a starter. Then as a promise for the quick recharge and fill the bar with either death magic or curse skills. You can choose from minions or hexes, both are excellent choices. The next one is a classic minion master build, Aura of the Lich is a great skill, adds plus 1 to death magic. Then Mesohism adds another 2. With this build you can create not less than 11 level 21 minions. Add skills like Evas, Necrosis, Putrid Bile and Death Nova to further increase your DPS. Spiteful Spirit, a classic necro build, SSD's damage when enemies attack or use a skill. Since the AI is dumb, they won't stop the fight, meaning with SS on them their HP will go down sooner or later. Bring RK Necro for another set of SS, then you can add a Reckless Haste to further increase the damage caused by the elite. The Beep Necro, I have said few things about it earlier, has great healing ability, will almost never run out of energy, can heal up minions or melees with Blood Bond, the engine of the team with the extra energy regen, have party wide healing too, probably the best Necro hero build ever. And now some new elite Order of the Andes. Good to know that Bone Fiends attack faster than any other minions, and if you combine them with this elite and the Ebon Ward, then your minions become buffed as hell. Sadly, the extra damage comes with the health sacrifice each time the minions attack, but with a good healer in your back, this can work too. So, did the Necros get an awesome new anniversary skill? Absolutely. Soul Taker is broken as fuck. Anytime you attack, you deal plus damage but sacrifice some HP. So, what happens if you combine this with Dark Aura, which triggers on each sacrifice? Exactly. You get an awesome build which does armor ignoring AoE damage. Of course, the health sacrifice has to be solved somehow. This is why we need Grand Aura and Mystic Vigor. These two skills kind of negate the HP loss, or at least a part of it. And the best part about the build, if you hit 3 enemies with a sight, the damage is also tripled. Plus with the new anniversary sight, your base damage is also max. There is a dagger mastery version too, if you want to mix things up, this is probably better on a single target. Uh, but if you are afraid of the too much HP loss, don't use dark aura, only the elite. You cannot splinter strength of honor too, but make sure you have some extra armor boost to serve up the fights. The next one is a true supporter build, Cultist Fervor, the elite allows continuous spamming of necro enchantments. Fun build if you have melee characters in your team, put strength of honor on them, then order of pain, dark fury and blood bond. Melees will love you for these. You can even add great dwarf weapon for even more damage on a single target. The next one is a Contagion build, Contagion was used in Heroes Ascent many times, but works in PV too. Dark Aura triggers with Contagion each time you receive a new condition, and when this happens the same condition is applied to fools close to you too. But not just conditions, but massive damage too because of the sacrifice. Fun build, but have a decent healer in your team. Moving on, another elite Icy Wanes. It does cold damage on the target, and if that target dies, it does even more to nearby fools. Increase your DPS with skills like Necrosis, Putrid Bive, which also does damage if the target dies. And if you don't have a minion master in your team, use out the corpses with Putrid Explosion. And finally, two more minion master builds, Flash Golem and Jacked Bones. Flash Golem is the highest level minion in the game, level 34 is the maximum possible level by the way. This is only accessible if you use beacons, but if you do, you get an undead servant which has tons of armor, HP and great DPS too. Interesting fact, the golems increase in size as you have more and more in death magic. If you want more damage, buff him with the usual strength of honor, great dwarf weapon combo. Uh, and jacked bones is a bit different, this is an enchantment which creates another jacked horror if your minion dies. Use it on a shambling horror to get two new minions, great way to keep up the minion army. And finally my favorite part, the solo farms. 
Necros are capable of farming many things with many builds, just think of Spoil Victor or Spiteful Spirit for instance. The first farm on my list has a different elite though, a good old raptor farm with Mark of Pain and Handrail Blades. Same build like the Warriors, but Mob does more damage, a very good choice during events to pile up special drops, get all the raptor nestlings, ball and spike, and bring a paragon hero for the increased movement speed. The next one is a feather farm in factions. Since the enemies here are low level, this is perfect for beginners too. Wait for the ball, hex them with life transfer and see them die from the degen. If HP is low, use shielding hands, unholy feast or vampiric swarm. Good place to farm feathers and runes too. The next one is the Vatir farm, don't have to explain much. Maintain shadow form, shroud and the other sin enchantments. Wall up the Vatirs, preferably all 60. Good farm during events, many anid golds and dust from the glacial stones. Another great farming spot, the Luxon Assassin farm. Settle alcohol is a must have in this build, but the drops will bring back a lot more than the cost of a dwarf nail, for instance. Maintain dwarf and stability to prevent knockdowns, then use Prat Spirit shielding hands or absorption. Pull up the assassins at top of the stairs, hex them with SS and see them die. And finally a Spoil Victor build, this is mostly for fun, not as profitable as other farms, you can kill many bosses if you want, as long as your HP is lower than your target's HP this will work. And we arrive at the speed clearing section, but sadly necros are not really used in speed clears these days, probably mostly in deep as a spiteful spirit spiker with mark of pain or as a supportive role at orgos. Occasionally they are used in Underworld or Free Free Tactics in DOA, but their roles can be done with other professions too. So I guess you see it already guys, Necros have many different playstyles, they can be DPS Necro, Minion Master, Party Healer, Melee Supporter, Sacrifice Necros too. So if you are looking for a versatile profession which is capable of many things, Necromancers will be a good choice. This was for today, time to turn off the lights, stay tuned because more vids will come.